We just paid $1,300 for this storage unit behind me. And we already had to take some boxes out because when we opened the unit, it looked like this. it was so full i couldn't get the door to shut back until we took some boxes out so we took some out of here into my truck because i was gonna win it one thousand three hundred dollars but the first box we see look what i found an og original xbox console right there right next to his older brother the xbox 360 console <laughs> right here a little dirty but it's still in there and this is that's garbage what about these empty i'm wearing oh uh, look here's the power bricks actually that's rare you don't usually find these you usually always find the consoles by themselves and there's some speakers down here so i saw a bunch of good in the toys and stuff like that but i also saw bad in like mouse dropping so there might be mice somewhere in the unit but the whole facility is outdoor so it's kind of you know to be expected so we're gonna go through the boxes we had to take out first before we dig further into the unit so i actually didn't look in here yet this is all brand new painting supplies paint brushes yeah all literally brand spanking new this right ah, here is just some used stuff some used rollers some tape things like that so if we get into the next section down right here the mouse jumps out at me and i scream like a little girl don't judge me okay Ooh, look what's this a power rangers oh it's just a calendar it looked like it was going to be an action figure uh box let's see what this is here old school play school games that's cool and let's see what this is right here Ugh, i'm here that's personal games and movies Ooh, on. okay i like personal games whoa okay they meant it are oh these, my gosh those are all these are all flavored protectors protector, private protectors <laughs> oh like do you remember watching comedy central back in the day late at night these ads 24 7 <laughs> 24 7 back in the day comedy central okay we gotta get this out of here what are these here these are just more burn copies this is sexy play the game okay okay that's all that's in here really wow okay that's 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 lovely that's what i wanted to see and the other thing in here is this bag is this all phones it looks like all phones it looks like you have this bag right here it's full to the brim with phones some touch screen and some old flip phones so that's definitely cool now i'm scared because of the mice <laughs> and and that we don't want no more of that and i hope it doesn't get darker than that what's in here just some i don't even know what these are like little plugs maybe the things you plug into the wall sensi type things that's it but if we open it up i see a lot of randomness in here light bulbs what are these see stuff wrapped up down here at the bottom this is old paper too you can tell these are old magazines so i'm kind of curious how to get in here let's see what it is open up you is it a book that's a false book mm. that's not a real book right here I can, I can hear i can hear the hollowness of it i hate wearing gloves for this reason i can't feel nothing but yeah this is definitely a false book now i'm kind of scared to see what's in there well if we can get it off that is we'll figure it out there we go it's nothing Aww. just empty but there's a couple more wrapped up things down here i'm kind of curious now is it just another tin why do they wrap them like that nothing in it it's weird i don't know this right here there's two little light bulbs look inside here let's see they got a bunch of random stuff wrapped in here but everything i can pick up they're like empty tins weird let's check over here no literally the rest of it's closed and empty tins that makes no sense this tone here does not look like a, what i want to see well first off what is this metal thing what does it is say it a scale? scale it is it says the scale mart it looks like one of those uh what do you call it? like beam balances that's kind of cool well, well the last two, that, but, but. It, I guess it would call, be called a bean balance. These are all napkins. You see what I'm getting the hint of in this unit? Let me show you why. To me, it seems like somebody who had either like a flea market booth or like a little store. Because if you see here, where did you see it at? 
I don't hmm. remember now. What are you looking for? There was something that said for sale, not sale for sale. Sale items? Yeah, okay. Sale items here. Then if you look down here, like this box all the way at the bottom is labeled um, Hot Wheels. One through 250. So if that's actually like a full set of 250 Hot Wheels, that would be epic. It just seems like somebody that had a store. Let's pull out this box here. Oh, this thing says candles. Let's, oh my gosh, there's no way these are candles. No way. What the heck is, oh, they're all records, aren't they? Oh my God. Holy crap. That is a monster size stack of records. Whoa, that's some good money. I'm curious to see what's in this Intex box. Whoa, it's heavy. Are these all movies? <laughs> Oh, come here. These might be all DVDs. Oh, look, Rugrats oh. Wild. Or Go Wild, not just Rugrats Wild. I'm seeing a lot of DVDs right off the bat. Ooh, I see video games though. See, but look at this, look. like they've labeled it. Yeah, this is the rarest Xbox game of all time. Connect Adventures, I'm <laughs> but kidding. But it's in there. It, it is, is in there. What about this games. most wanted? Okay. But I'm saying since it's labeled, that points to the fact that they were the probably store. sellers. Yeah, exactly, too. I think so too. GTA 5, because what we're seeing is in there. I mean, yeah, these games are in here. Need for Speed Carbon. Nice. So that's pretty good stuff right now. Here you go again, look. They wrote on it. Like they wouldn't, I don't see any reason somebody would label their stuff like that unless they were selling it. Let's go down to this Walmart bag here. I see more cases. Oh, ooh, well, these are new DVDs are new? here. Okay, not all of them. Ooh, A lot, ooh what's ooh. that? There's something really little in there. Let's go find out. Uh, what was it? A piece of nothing? I don't know. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So I'm gonna put all the movies over here. Let's see if there's anything else in here. No, I'm seeing a lot of uh, notebooks. What's that? Ooh, what is this? Um, that's a grinder. Ah, that's a grinder. Yep, that is a grinder. That is okay. just a piece to it. Yep, that's a grinder. And the rest of it's notebook. Hold on, what does the notebook say? What does like that one say? VHS minus plastic cases DVD. So it's like inventory. Yeah, this is an inventory. This is we definitely got somebody's store here. 100% have somebody's store. And look, there's oh, it says missing game. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the labels are correct too. That's the funny thing. So we'll definitely go through there and keep all the DVDs and all the video games for whatnot auctions. I just absolutely have to know if that's a one through 250 set of Hot Wheels down there. So I feel like we should work this side today. Okay. And let's go. Oh, this is heavy. What does it say? It says Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol on it, but it says Paw Patrol oh. stuff and blanket. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Oh my gosh, I can't get it up. <laughs> okay, come here, big boy. I did not think it was gonna be that heavy. There's no way it's a blanket. Uh, we need to go get a knife. Let's get a knife. Got my little razor key. Let's slice this sucker open and see what's in the Paw Patrol stuff because there's no way this is all Paw Patrol. Yeah, see, no. This is not what I wanted to see because I wanted the bo boxes to be labeled accurately so those other things would be in there. This is a, look, manager special. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. So it's definitely a store. We definitely have established that I now. I had a flea market booth. Yeah, maybe something like that. A lot of bathroom stuff in here. Yeah, this right here. This is just all bathroom stuff, even though some of it is brand new. Like a lot of it is brand new. I just don't know how long it's been in there, so we probably won't be selling that. All right, this one says already labeled, ran out of bags. Okay. Let's see what that means. Hey, Goku's missing a leg. It's Aww. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, man. Poor Goku. My poor guy's missing a leg. And his other one's barely hanging on. That's so sad. Poor Goku. What in the heck is all this stuff? What are these? Some mm. kind of tube or something, huh? Yeah, are they like bubble containers or like for toothbrushes? I don't know, but this guy's got action figures in here. Like this is like Wolverine. He's got it marked as a um, 1996 Marvel figure. So these figures, it looks like they're gonna be in bags, which is good because whatever mice are in here haven't got into this stuff. So look at that, these action figures, the fact that they're single, there's quite a few down here actually, look. Here's another one. These are old right there. He doesn't have a price tag on them though. He just has like, you could, he has them labeled Toy Biz Inc. So maybe that's our guy. Hmm. I'm gonna take all these out though that are in the plastic bag still. Yeah, look at that. This is making me think that we might have a really good chance that um box down there is full of Hot Wheels actually. Let's see what this is. Whoa, toy people. What is this guy? This is from 1985, but I feel like this could be very collectible. If anyone recognizes where that's from, definitely let me know down in the comments. 
So I was sitting there going through the box again. I didn't realize there was this baggie of cards here at the bottom. I want to see if any of these are gift cards. No, up oh, there. Identification card. I'll look you up, buddy. Food line MVP. No, no, no. Is that American Eagle? Rewards card. No, we don't want a rewards card. No rewards. Oh, there's another ID. Is that the same guy? Let me see. Do we have the same dude here? Uh, yeah, same guy. We got him. We got our dude. Uh, let's see. Nothing. 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 Okay, this is a different person. Different person. Mm, this is a value. Oh, this expired last year. We have three IDs there to look into. This right here is literally a super old, disgusting printer. So that's just going to the garbage pile. We got another box here. So we have this like little recycling toy thing. Uh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! That's about what the brain. It's missing the sifter off the top. You got a little slider that goes right here. It's got yeah. a color sifter. What do you think you get for a hundred bucks? I mean, it would probably bring close to that. Not about fifty bucks there. I give you fifty for it. That works. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We opened a unit. I had like two or three different people offer to buy that churner from me. They said we can get 75 to 125 all day. So I figured, hey, give me 50 bucks. I don't got to ship glass. You can double your money. I get $50 on my 1300 back already. Everybody wins. Tell me if that was a good deal in the comments. I like what I see in this box right here. I'm pretty sure I see. <laughs> no. Okay, I don't like that. But what I was about to say I like is I look like I see the Xbox green, but now I'm in a little bit of a predicament right now can you go back up uh-oh what was that <laughs> what in a small town what could that be i don't know man is that like the units falling war sirens for me in this unit maybe you watch your back oh no it's going isn't it i have nope. just no no uh, you don't want to just let me. it go huh i mean you can't keep it there so whatever's gonna fall is gonna fall Let's hope it doesn't. Okay. Look over here. You hear a giant? Yes, I do. Oh, well. yes. I thought I saw those Xbox cases. Let's see. <laughs> but are they in there? That's the question. Dance Central? Oh, yes. Angry Birds? Well, I'm going to open like two more if they're in there. I'm assuming they're all in there. Mm -hmm. Star Wars? Bang. Nice. That's what I like to see. So we got Star Wars. Look, WWE 2K17 with Brock Lesnar. Skate. Sean White snowboarding. Baseball. Uh, look, NHL. Me to be with down in book. Written what? down in book. Oh, uh, okay. Black case. I got to see what's in this one. A couple games. Guitar Hero and Rapella. That is about to go boom. Mm. That is about to go boom. Oh, look at this, though. East Combat, Pit My Ride, Red Dead Redemption. Madden. Doesn't say. Deadpool. Look at this. Survive. How many video games is this already? I don't know. Oh, my God. Far Cry 3. Look at the Blockbuster tag. Black Ops 2. That's like a $20 game on its own. That's good to see though, so I know it's not all like just cheapo games or nothing. Look at this. I mean, Minecraft's a good game too, value-wise. UFC Undisputed 09, Fort Griffin. Look at this. This is insane. Oh, look, TMNT, this is a good game too. Right here. And another stack right here, of course it is. Look at this. There's Call of Duty in there. Yeah, I see Modern Warfare 3. I can't even hold them more. Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, yeah. Oh look, one of the best Call of Duties, World of War and Black Ops right there. What else is in this box? Stuff Anything? wrapped up under the clothes. Okay, let's see what that is. Anything in here? I can't tell what it is. We're gonna have to open it up and find out. Come here, you. Yeah. Open up. Other oh, stuff wrapped up in there, I think, inside these glass containers. Let's see. Open up, open up, open up. What is it? I can't get in there. Like, I like to be protected by the gloves, right? But not being able to feel is very painful. Uh, I don't see nothing in there besides paper. I think it's just to keep this safe. Let's see if we can shake them around and hear anything in any of them. No. I just be glass jars or pops. I think it's exactly what they are. They're just glass jars. So we'll put those aside and put all those video games in another pile. I took a couple black bags that were just closed and I just tossed them on back there. This bag, I didn't look inside, but it felt heavier than the other. So I figured we'd check and see if it's closed or not. If it is, I'm just going to yeet it back on there with the rest. But if it's not, I don't think it is. Nope, it doesn't look like it is. Ooh, that looks like a safe key box. Let's, what is this? Dalton's Toys? Who's Dalton? Let's see if Dalton has good taste. Uh, these are like McDonald's toys type things. Nothing in there is going to be expensive. But what about this? Ooh, that we're going to go into in a second. Ooh, what about this? Tease, you tease. Puzzle thing? Mm -hmm. I am. This? Looks like a blow up something. 
What about the other sections of this bag here? Here? No. What is this? Crystals. Hmm. Okay. And some hooks. What about over here? What the heck is this? Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> and then over here? Oh, randomness. Let's see. Little Paw Patrol thing. Some Hardee's coupons. Oh, yeah. Some McDonald's McMuffin stuff. And what the heck are these? <laughs> Dalton's wooden toys for his carpet. Keep together. Okay, I'll keep them together. Whoa. Earring holder. That's an earring. Oh, yeah. Look, it's got little oh, holes wow. in it. Cool. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm going to set that aside. <laughs> Nothing else in there. But let's go into here. Yes. You want me to open it, though? Let's. You have to leave this video a thumbs up right now and subscribe because we're always buying units, even dropping $1,300 unit on this that made no sense <laughs> dropping thirteen hundred dollars on units like this forgive me i've been up for about 30 hours now okay. let's go into here you ready uh oh, oh that's about as underwhelming as that box could have got in order to work our way down there we have to start clearing this out so we don't get smushed that's plan one so let's go okay. to the top box here oh and see what's inside well pants nobody cares about but in here we have ugh. well Little crack things. What about the big blue case? What is that? Come here, you. I feel like it's completely different without being able to feel with my hands. Mm -hmm. That's just a little marker set. Nothing that impressive. Let's see in here. Needs to be fixed. Okay. Yeah, these are all books that need to be fixed. So apparently maybe they were selling books in there. This says rugs. They're not lying. They're rugs. This one here, what does it say on it? Baby boy shoes. Okay, this time I'm calling their BS because I see a book. Let's see, these are old books. These are really old books. They're all in little this baggies. 1914? Yeah, 1914 Homes Complete Works. Still like labeled and everything, but no price on them. Yeah, no, I think these are gonna be worth something right here. 1955 Termite Control mm -hmm. for Homeowners. Yeah, these are cool. 1847. Wow. 1847. 1946. A couple of vintage cookbooks here. That is cool. That is really cool. I'm definitely going to have to put these aside. This is going to be some research right here. If you see anything you know is worth something, again, blow those comments up. Let's pull down the next bag here. These look like they might be gift sets or something of the sort. Let's open it up and find out. Mm. Huh? Definitely gift sets, like Christmas. Oh, what is that one? Frozen. This one, bounce off. So, right, it's like, what is it? Like, connect four with balls, basically? Mm. Okay. And then a couple of t-shirts. All of these, brand spanking new. Let's set them right there for a second. I want to get to this black bag. I need to get this speaker down. That's like my biggest concern that's going to crush everything. Let's see what this is. It says something right here. It says, clothes for sale. I think he means sale, mm -hmm. but let's see, are they with tags or anything? No, they're not, they're pre-owned clothes. So like pre-owned clothes, we don't usually sell unless they're designer or something. So what we'll do with these most likely is just donate them. But let's look in here, cause this feels like something other than clothes. This is a dress shoe, but again, it has been used. So this kind of stuff, I'd rather just donate to people that need it. This tote looks like a lot of new stuff. It might actually be the baby stuff. Look, teethers, teethers, teethers. Uh, what is that? A little Cookie Monster toy? Rattle. Another rattle. These are all brand new. Teether. Brand new. That's kind of cool. These all brand new. Yeah, like it's a bag full of brand new unused bibs. What is this here? This is Go Mickey. Travel case. These are baby washcloths. Brand new. Squeeze cup. Brand new. And this is Ultra Plus changing pad cover. Again, brand new. If you look in here, you also got a baby cup. And whatever this is, is also new. This is a belly brag sticker. Can I give you the seven month one? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. I can finally get to the, oh, so this had for sale somewhere, didn't it? Yeah, sale items, that's what I mean, not for sale. So let's see what they have as sale items. What are these? Light bulbs, why do you wrap up a light bulb, dude? You know they're like four for a dollar. Uh, this, what is this, TD holder? Or is it like a manual for a car? 
That's like an actual car manual. Okay, that's not gonna do us any good. You know those are actually worth money on eBay though. People will buy them. Like people that are trying to sell used cars. Mm. So these are actually, what does that say? The oil. Sale. Ah, okay. <laughs> but you can actually sell those on eBay for a decent little amount. But for other than that, I'm seeing like some cops and baby stuff again. But unfortunately what I see in here is just clothes almost all the way down. What's in the baggie? I don't even know what that is, but it's all pretty much closed. You see this smile on my face right now? You know why that is? I moved a bunch of junk. I got really scared. I got this box. It looked like it was damaged, right? But let's remove that. And nah, nah. Maybe a little bit of dirt on the top row. But look over here. Look how far these go down. You see that? Yep. All the way down. This is the full set, it says. One through 250. I don't know what the years are on these guys. I think um, 2017. 2017. It says it on all of them. Oh, you know, reading is key, huh? <laughs> 2017, I mean, say they sell for 50 cents a piece. Say 50 cents a piece. 250, that's already $125 in that one box. You think there's more in this one? This one says Hot Wheels 2015, one through 250. Let's see if, ah, uh, it doesn't look like it here. What are these? Oh, these are cards. Nice. Check that out. These are some NBA cards. Let's see if I see a year on these guys. 1990. 1990 NBA card. No telling what's in there. There's a rookie I should be looking for. Guys, let me know. Oh, they're over here. What is this first? Uh, o. Henry Papers, the new revised edition. What? I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to keep it because it's been paper. Oh, there's a bunch of things in here. Why are these cards particularly set aside? My card people, especially my basketball people, let me know if these are set aside for a reason. Who is it? It's Craig Elo and Ron Harper, 1990. So we have a bunch of random little pieces here, like this old stamp thing, this 1999 Chrysler Plymouth, that's just a car manual, but random pieces for sure. But underneath, I see Michael Jordan. Look, there's a Michael Jordan car too, 1992, right there. And oh wow, we have a lot of cards, I think. A lot of little cards in here. There's all kinds of random cards mixed in. And there's our actual cards over here too. You see that? Mm -hmm. Look at these. You even got some like Bugs Bunny cards mixed in the mix. I kind of want to see what's in this right here. Let's see. Just a wine glass, kind of random to have in there. What's on this side here? Something's got to be in here. Let's see what it is. It's all wrapped up in bubble wrap. It's a factory number 331. What is that? It just says grit on it. It looks like it says grit. Okay. I have to open it though. Huh? I have to open it, right? For what? It's just a box. Oh, well if it's just, is it a cigar box? Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. There's nothing in it. I can shake it and tell you there's nothing in there. But that. Then we got, what is a birth, is a birth certificate? Oh, it's a Cabbage Patch birth certificate. Okay, with some Valentine's. What are these? Are these lighter knives? Or is that a knife? It looks like it's a multi-tool lighter. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty random. This is signed, it looks like. Or is it just written on that paper? I can't tell. It looks like Kobe. Uh, it is a Kobe Bryant. 1978 to 2020. So it's probably... I forgot what year he passed away. And was it 2020? It wasn't that long ago, was it? Was it 2020? Uh, yeah, we were in California. Well, you're right. So maybe that's probably like one of the first releases when he first passed, which could be definitely worth good money to um, NBA fans. Let's go to the next box I pulled out right here. Ooh, look at this old Minnie Mouse. That looks very vintage. Let's see if she has a date on her foot. She's from 2011, actually. Hmm. I thought it should be vintage, but <laughs> not really. This they ooh. Mm. Yeah. That's broken. What's that? Okay. Uh, that That's one's broken. also broken. A bunch of freaking random people's keys. That's sick. What the heck is this? Mm. A bag of random pills labeled one, two, three, or one, two point, no, one, two, three. Medication people, white, white oval pill, oval, one, two, one three. two, three. This is probably a good time to bring up the fact that we just looked these people up. And we found two IDs, right? The guy and the girl. The girl, what does she have? I think a break in entering and an assault charge. Yeah, break in entry to destroy and an assault charge. So literally just revenge, it sounds like. Right. <laughs> but the guy is where it gets more interesting because go through a couple of his charges. Basically, one is unauthorized distribution of a controlled, controlled substance. substance. In other words, yep. selling drugs. What else was it? Possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana. 
uh, unauthorized mm-hmm. distribution, possession of marijuana, controlled substance. So my dude, like, this, I don't know what these are in particular, but he's definitely in jail for selling. I don't know why that seems to like be the case to like eight out of 10 storage units we buy, but it seems like it's a very common charge. Should I keep pulling from the left or should I switch up and go one from the right? Um, right. Right? Yeah. Let's go to the top guy right here. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Why'd you pick this one? I don't oh know. Oh my God. No What's way. Just, you might've picked a very good one. Oh. Hold a second. Are these vintage Matchbox? Oh, look at these. Well, look at everything in here. This, you know what? I would high five you, but I might have mouse poop in my hand. Right, so air five. Air don't five, touch. yeah, don't do it. <laughs> these are 1994 Superstars Matchbox car right there. Oh my God, look, there's multiple. One, I'm glad all two, this stuff is in bags. I know, three. It's like he doesn't do, like this storage unit's a little ranchy, so you know, <laughs> we'll just put everything nice in bags. Five vintage Matchbox cars. Well, look at these right here. 1992 card. Oh, look, here's an old NASCAR. An Indy 500 car. This is great stuff, guys. If you're not following us on whatnot right now, you should at THWGBIS. Use our link to get free $15 because we're going to be selling a lot of cool in stuff on here. In the description. Always in the description, and you might see it on screen right now. Yeah. Depending on how lazy <laughs> we are when editing, no, you'll see it. <laughs> Look at these right here. These Hot Wheels, Fast and Furious. Is that what they are? Yeah. Fast and Furious, Fast Five. I don't know what year that movie came out in, but they look older. That's cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. Nice. Just tons of them, man. Here's a three pack right here. Fast and Furious as well. All right, what about over here? Oh my gosh, are we, is this the ones we kept selling that we finally ran out of? No, that's not the same. The packaging looks the same. Though. Yeah, it's okay. the same blue car. Yeah, look, more cars, more cars. We have trucks here. What is it? The box is obviously kind of smashed on there, but it's holding a truck. That's a baby Ruth truck. That is a, what is that, Ray Vests? Ray Vests? Something like that. Let's get this out of here. What is in here? Oh, look. It's a, is that not Rusty Wallace? It is. <laughs> How do we buy a storage unit? We bought a storage unit with NASCAR stuff in our area, three hours away, full of Rusty Wallace. I found one NASCAR clock, it's Rusty Wallace again. What are the chances? Like seriously, what are the chances? That's like a little baby mobile, but oh my God, if you look in here, these are all, well, these are probably off of somebody else's car. I don't know, but okay, this is what's weird. There's Virginia, Oklahoma, and Florida. So that's just a little suspect, I'm not gonna lie. Put that over here, but more cars. When you come into this box, look at this. It's literally nothing but cars all the way to the bottom. It might be a little dusty and dirty, but we'll clean these up and that's probably 50 to 100 plus more new cars in box. I got us a box here with it looks like more cars. Win within fourth in a series, see what that means? How much, see what that means. These are more cards. It says only car that has collables all, what? <laughs> I don't know. I can't read their handwriting. <laughs> okay, this is used jeans. That can go in here with that. But this, ew, that's backwards. And these, yeah, that, besides this guy, come out. You go with the other cards. 1950 spring training. There's another here. Stop hiding from Oh, this beer. No, it didn't. There it is. There it is. What year is that actually from? Card number eight. He said on the front it says um, 1957 spring training. So that's a car from 1957. That would be pretty cool, but I don't know if it could be. The rest of it though, Disney movies, VHS, it's just like literally somebody keeping track of all their stuff. So unfortunately we didn't plan on getting a unit that big. We filled our entire truck up, so we gotta go throw stuff away. But next time we will bring a 10 or 15 foot U-Haul. We will get deep into that storage unit and bring you guys like a 40 plus minute video of all the cool stuff we can find. So make sure you subscribe and come back for the next part. Peace out.